Om Shanti. This is the Abhyakt Murli of 18th of November, 1981. And the title is The Sign of Closeness to Perfection. Today, Dilaram Baba, the comforter of hearts, has come to talk to his children who are seated on the heart throne. All the children know what one thing remains in the heart of the comforter of hearts, Baba. The comforter of hearts constantly has the children who give comfort to others merged in his heart. In Baba's heart, there is always the one thing of how each one of the children becomes a special soul, a master of the world, how each one claims a right to the fortune of the kingdom of the world. Each child should become more elevated than the next, fully decorated and full of all virtues and filled with power. Each one should become number one. The specialty of each one should be more attractive than the next so that all the world is able to see this and sing their praise. Each one should appear to be for everyone in the world, a lighthouse, a might house, and a sparkling star of the earth. The specialties and the treasures accumulated by every elevated thought and elevated action of every special star should be so unlimited that the special world of every star is visible. When everyone sees this, they will forget their sorrow, experience happiness, and become cheerful. When they see each one's alokic world filled with all attainments, they sing songs of each one's wonder. Wa, wa. This is what is in the heart of Bab Dada, the comforter of hearts. Now, you children know very well what is in the heart of each of you. Do you also know what is in the hearts of others? Or do you only know what is in your own heart? When you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone, you also share the zeal and enthusiasm you have for one another in your heart. Do you not? What do you mainly speak about regarding that? All of you have the special thought of definitely putting into practice what the Father tells you to do and that you will become equal to the Father. Therefore, the one thing in the Father's heart is the same thing that is in the children's heart. So, why are the effort makers so number wise? Why is everyone not number one? Can everyone become number one? Can everyone become a king of the world? Or is that not possible? Will only one person become the king of the world? Or will others also become kings of the world at their own time? So then, why do you all say that you are claiming the kingdom of the world? Or that you are claiming a right to the world? Will you come into the kingdom? Or will you rule the kingdom? Some will become rulers and some will become part of the kingdom. Or will everyone become a ruler? Many other subjects will be found. Don't worry about them. Are you making all of this effort simply to come into the kingdom? Are you not doing everything to attain your kingdom and not just to come into the kingdom? Therefore, all of you will rule, will you not? 
each of you feels that you will come into the kingdom and that whether others come or not is up to them. You are studying Raj Yoga, are you not? Are you studying yoga to become kings or yoga to come into the kingdom? You are Raja Yogis, are you not? You are not yogis who become part of the kingdom, are you? Will all of you become number one like this or will you remain number wise until the end? You were also told earlier that each of you will become number one according to your own accounts. That will be the number one golden age stage for you. According to this account, each of you will claim your number one most elevated stage by the end. Each one of you will become perfect and complete according to your own account. That will be the number one elevated stage of each of you souls out of the whole cycle. In that case, even while being number wise, each one will become number one. Each of you souls has your own stage of perfection. You saw both the effort making stage and the stage of perfection of Brahma Baba. And having reached his stage of perfection, the specialties he uses through his Avyat stage are also experienced by you. Just as you experienced the difference in Brahma Baba's perfect stage and his stage of making effort, so too there is the stage of perfection and the form of perfection of every Brahmin soul which Bab Dada makes emerge in subtle region. He continues to observe it and can also show it to you. When Bab Dada looks at your stage of perfection, he notices how much spiritual intoxication and sparkle there is in each one's form of perfection. You are now attaining perfection and you do definitely have to attain it. However, some children's stage of perfection is close. You also saw the sign of this in Brahma Baba. He constantly had in his awareness his stage of perfection and his future reward. His angelic form and his deity form were so clearly visible that any effort maker who looked at him only saw and spoke of his angelic form and the future form of Sri Krishna. So too, the sign of your coming close to the stage of perfection is that you will experience that closeness and others too will experience it. While in the corporeal form, there will be the experience of the avyakt form through which souls who come in front of you will forget their corporeal consciousness and experience the avyakt stage. This is the sign of that closeness. Some children neither experience perfection to be clear nor close to them. What is the sign of that experience? It is easy to experience anything that is clear and close to you. However, to experience something that is far away from you, you especially have to use your intellect. Similarly, such souls are able to draw to themselves their stage of perfection with the yoga of their intellect and with effort are able to stabilize in that stage. Secondly, because their stage is not clear or close, they sometimes have the thought, I should become this, but will I be able to become this? There would be slight doubt 
in the form of waste thoughts about the self. This is known as the royal form of doubt. If there is even the slightest wave of doubt, you have lost everything. Whereas those who have a faithful intellect become victorious. Even the slightest thought of doubt in your dreams or even a wave of such thought will put you far back in the final numbers. The particular sanskar or nature of such souls is that one minute they will have a lot of zeal and enthusiasm and fly, and the next minute they will be disheartened with themselves. They will continually go up and down this ladder in their life, the ladder of being very happy in their heart and of being disheartened. What is the reason for this? Their perfect stage is not clear or close. So what do you have to do now? Now bring your stage of perfection close. How will you do this? You even know the way to do this. What do you know? It is something amusing. What does Bob Dada notice? What do some of you children, not all of you, but the majority of you do. Because of being the beloved children of the highest and high father, you become a lot more especially beloved. And because of being especially beloved, you become very sensitive. Those who are sensitive will only show their games. What games do you play? You tell the father the things he has told you. You become sensitive and tell the father that he should do something on your behalf. You lack the strength of power of tolerance. The power of tolerance is the armor to protect yourself from all obstacles. It is because you do not put this armor that you become sensitive. You have not made firm the lesson that you have to do something for yourself. It is very weak. The belief that others should do it for you or that the father should do it for you makes you sensitive. Because of this, the curtain of carelessness comes in front of you so that your stage of perfection doesn't appear clear or close, then instead of touring the three worlds, you constantly go up and down the ladder of happiness and disheartenment. You wonder whether you belong to this world or not. So what do you need to do? Do not become beloved once of carelessness, but do not become especially Beloved, what will happen then? You will easily reach your stage of perfection. First of all, you have to wed your stage of perfection. This means you constantly have to wear the wedding garland of constant zeal and enthusiasm. Only then will you be able to wed Lakshmi or Narayan. Do you understand what you have to do? The perfect stage of all of you effort makers is invoking all of you. Only when all of you reach your stage of perfection will perfect Brahma and the Brahmins return home together and claim a right to the kingdom. Acha, to the souls who are close to their stage of perfection, to those who are to wed their perfect stage together with Father Brahma, to those who inspire others to become perfect by giving them the experience of their own stage of perfection, to those who, through their own clarity, become a mirror 
for others and grant visions of their stage of perfection to those who constantly have happiness in their heart, to such children who have the fortune of happiness, Pap Dada's love, remembrance, and namaste. Pap Dada meeting the teachers. Spiritual servers are equal to the Father. So what gift do you servers want? When you meet your equals, you give one another a gift. Therefore, servers are equal to the Father. So what gift would the Father give you? Or will you give it? You have listened to a lot of knowledge. You also listened to the Murli. What else now remains? Servers are souls who are very close to Bab Dada. What gift would Bab Dada give to you close souls? Today, Bab Dada is giving all of you servers a special gift of golden versions. What is that? Have a celebration every day to make yourself enthusiastic and to give enthusiasm to others. This is the gift of love for you servers. Baba will clarify the meaning of this later on in a murli, but a small gift is still very good. So today, Baba will not speak that murli, but will tell you an essence to celebrate each day as a festival of remaining enthusiastic and giving enthusiasm to others. Then all the labor that you do will end. The labor of harmonizing sanskars and finishing sanskars will end. When you are celebrating a special festival, you forget everything about physical illness, lack of wealth, or conflict of relationships. In the same way, by constantly celebrating this festival, all problems will end. Then you will not have to give any time or use any energy. You will all constantly experience yourselves to be as though you are moving along as angels. It is said that angels don't set foot on the ground. You say of those who are dancing in happiness that they are constantly flying, that their feet are not on the ground. Therefore, all of you will become flying angels. Therefore, spiritual servers now do this service. You have been making a great deal of effort in giving courses, holding exhibitions, and fairs, etc. Now, this is the way to make all of that effort easy. What Baba spoke of earlier, when you do this, your experience will be as though you are sitting at home and the moths coming flying to the flame. For how much longer will you continue to labor in the other way? That method should change, should it not? Therefore, this method is your gift for glorification through less expenditure. It is a gift for greater success through less effort. Then you will not have to organize fairs, but many others will become instruments to organize and hold fairs. They will invite you there. Even now, you are invited to speak on a platform that is already prepared. Later, you will not even have to make effort for fairs. At present, you invite the didis and dadis for your inaugurations. But at that time, all of you will become didis and dadis. You will become the images 
that grant visions and carry out the inauguration ceremonies. So, this is good, is it not? Are you still going to labor putting up tents, inviting guides, and all the helpers, etc.? Acha, have you now accepted this gift? Will you give a gift now? Simply have the thought. I will not allow my own enthusiasm to reduce, nor will I allow the enthusiasm of others to reduce. This is the only gift you have to give. When people hold a fast, even though they become hungry and thirsty, they don't break their fast. No matter what happens, even if they were to become unconscious, they wouldn't break it. So, you too should hold this fast. No matter what problem arise, even if someone comes to stop your enthusiasm, neither let go of your own enthusiasm nor allow it to reduce in others. You will become more enthusiastic and make others more enthusiastic. Then there will constantly be festivals. There will constantly be fairs and seminars and international conferences. Acha, you received a gift and you gave a gift. Therefore, what more do you want? While congratulating the double foreign children for their service, Bab Dada gave signals for service. Bab Dada never says no to service. Continue to serve with the lot of splendor. You can invite whomsoever you want to. Congratulations to those from abroad. All of you are moving forward with a lot of zeal and enthusiasm for service. While continuing to progress in this way, you will become instruments to serve special souls whom you call VIPs. The time has now come for VIPs to emerge. Therefore, they will automatically continue to emerge from the service you do. Give everyone a special experience of spirituality. Give everyone the experience of peace and power. You do have a lot of knowledge, but even one second's experience of spirituality is newness for them. Most of what they experience abroad is artificial. Therefore, they don't have any experience of real peace, real happiness, or their real form. If they were to experience even one second of this, that would be newness for them. In any case, people abroad always like new things. Therefore, bring about this newness. No Mahatma is able to give anyone this experience. They hear the words soul and supreme soul, but the newness here is to forge a connection and give an experience. This is known as the experience of reality. This is the way to do this. Special remembrances by name to all the close serviceable jewels. Blessing, may you be a soul who practices by yourself and attains the certificate of serving through your mind with your powerful stage. In order to give blessings of light and might to the world, practice remembrance by yourself at Amrit Vela and create a powerful atmosphere. Only then will you be able to claim the certificate of serving through the mind. At the last moments, you only have to do service of taking souls beyond with a glance 
end of transforming their attitude through your attitude. Make everyone powerful with your elevated awareness. When you have the practice of giving such a light and might to everyone, you will create an atmosphere in your fort that is free from obstacles and it will thus become strong. Slogan, continue to experience every virtue and every power and you will become an image of experience. Om Shanti.